that's back in the video and here is this so with the bybit account before you can protect and protect it well first of all make sure you do not give your code i mean any code that you receive in your email or your sms if anyone calls you for it do not give it to the person no matter what okay if bybit is to reach you they will send you an email and then reach you and then get your details in case of any other issue so yes know that bybit will contact you through email and also always make sure you have verified your bybit account it also add some kind of protection to your account if you don't know let me tell you so add your details verify details to their accounts and it will help protect it the more if you want to know how you can verify your bybit account check in the comment section or description of the video i've already made a video for that one so that you can follow up and verify your bybit account it's just simple just like five ten minutes you are done with it okay so let's look at how you can protect it by using some settings and also things that you need to know about your bybit that's how it is but if you want to subscribe subscribe and like the video more videos will become right here on this platform let's have it let's go so open the bybit app i always recommend you use the bybit app instead of the website you see with the website it is not 100 percent safe sometimes the link can be changed if you don't get the correct link or there can be fishing and all those things so just make sure you download the bybit app from play store or app store when you come to this side look for your account at this side you could see this is it and tap on it when you tap on it look down here and look for security you could see security right here tap on it when you tap on it right here you could see we have the security level okay so you have your account activity at the top right here showing you your login devices as well so i will take you through everything right here now if in case you have forgotten your password you can change it right here but we are not here for changing of password but it will be very very good for you to know your account password it will really help you and also to be important to set up your account with either email or your phone number so you could see with this it's my account i created it using the gmail and we have the mobile number right here as blank you tap on it so when you tap on it it will ask for verification so if in case with yours you have verified it with your phone number then it is cool all you need to do is to add your email okay so you could see it will send me a code that's a one-time verification code then i will enter it right there as i enter it automatically it will then ask or give me option to be able to add my phone number so that or what we just saw was a verification to verify for them to know that i am the person the owner of the account trying to add a phone number or change a phone number so don't worry when you see something like that just make sure you enter the code when you enter the code then you come here you enter or you change first your country code make sure you enter your country code so for ghana it is plus two three three right there plus two three three and then you enter your phone number without zero okay so let me enter mine and then we'll continue with it but if you haven't like like the video because more videos will become right here on this channel so after that tap on receive verification code so a code will be sent to that number that you just link for proof to know that yes it is you who has changed it and to a specific number that you really want to okay so you will need to confirm this so you just swipe to where we have the space okay so you could see there is a little space right there you just do it this way and then you leave it okay and then it has been verified a code will be sent to me via sms okay so now the code has been sent to us and this is the code let me copy the code i come here and then let me paste the code right here okay so you could see verified successfully so when you scroll down from here you could see email is here and mobile number is also here that will really help protect your account after that look down here we have google to fa authentication and then you will see there is a button right here tap to turn it on so before it will turn on it will also send you a code you know it is all trying to confirm that you are the one making changes look right here we have the get code tap on it okay and then the code will be sent to you via email so after that tap on confirm so with this side you are going to install the google authenticator app to do this okay so let me show you how you will do that you want to subscribe subscribe because more will speak right here on this platform so this is the name of the app google authenticator on play store or app store look for the app and download install it on your device this is one of the top notch 
authenticator that will really help protect your accounts i've already told you guys that this app is a top notch security app therefore you cannot screen record so therefore i have to switch to this so when you open the app this is how it will be you could see stronger security with google authenticator two-step verification for this app okay so you tap on get started right here or you just swipe 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 and the last one you get tap on get started so that one will be an opportunity for you to just check one or two things right there so you will have to log in with your google account so if in case you don't have a google account check in the comment section or description of this video i have a video that will show you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can create a google account a safer one i always make sure everything i teach here you are safe with it so a safer one that you will tap on it to select or continue with that one if in case you want to use it without an account you can also go in for that one okay so you tap on use without a google account but i always assure you or i always tell my people just create a google account and use it to log into it that one everything stays in your account and you will not lose anything okay so yes tap on your account that you want to log in so i'll continue as that after downloading installing and logging in your account now let's go back Let's go back to Bybit and then we will tap on continue right here. When tap on continue, then we have this key. So you will copy it, okay? With mine, I will hide it for security sake. I will hide it. I will tap on copy. Then you will copy the key that it gives you. After that, tap on next. So when you tap on next, it will bring you to this side and you are going to enter the key, okay? And then you will tap on get code. So we have the Google Authenticator and then we have the get code right here. Let's go to the Google Authenticator. And then you see we have some plus sign down here. Plus sign, tap on it. And then we have the enter setup key. Enter setup key. Tap on it. So you will have to give the name of the um the, the code. I mean the Google Authenticator code that you want to set. Okay. So I'll go in for buy bit. So that I will know that this is for Bybit. And then I will enter the key right here. After entering the key, we have the type of key you tap to select. That's time based. Okay. Time based. Then you tap on add. When you tap on add, you could see save password to Google password manager. Then you tap on save. So I think that will be best for you. Now we have the Bybit right here. And what happened is almost every uh, 15 to 30 seconds it gets new code for you to log into your account so we have the buy base right here you can see this is the code that we have right now and this is the time you see the time is running so when the time finishes up a new time a new code is in okay so you could see we have 552295 after the time elapsed you could see the code will change you could see this one then let's copy the code this is the code that we are going to use to log in. So after tap and hold, the code has been changed. Then I will come to the Google Authenticator and automatically you could see it has logged in. Okay, so you could see the security level is now high. At first it was low. So now our account is fully protected to the highest or to the maximum or how should I say it? It's safe right now. So we have the Google 2FA return on right here. Now we have the withdrawal security and we have the biometric so you can also set up these two only if you are interested so the withdrawal is when you are withdrawing from your account you will need to enter specific code or you need some process that you want them to go in okay before you can withdraw then we have the biometric authentication whereby you can use your fingerprint okay so once locked you may unlock using the following authentication method so you can just use your fingerprint only if your phone supports or has that then you can set up right there okay so that one is set and the pattern to or depending on the password or whatever i used for locking your phone you can also go in for that one then let's go back so you want to subscribe subscribe because more will be coming right here on this platform now we have the last one right here that i would like to talk about we have the trusted device maybe you log in your account on someone's phone and or maybe someone has secretly logged into your account on his or her phone so this is the option for you to just know that 
you have been logged in here 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 and this is the phone device login you can choose to delete it on your phone so that when they are trying to log in they will need your your email your phone number your fingerprint your phone password two-factor authentication and all these things before they can log into your account so i think coming here and then checking will really help you to know where you have logged into then you can tap on the delete to be exited or to be logged out okay so check that one it will really help you so this is how you can protect your private account if in case of anything just drop it in the comment section and i will see you in the next video stay alive and bye for now